Hare Krishna. So in this video, we're going to show you how to paint Laddu Gopal. It's the same method, even if it's other type of deities like Radha Krishna, Krishna Balram, or Gaurnitai. So let's start it. So first of all, deities usually have eye stickers on them. We need to remove those eye stickers and clean the eye area neatly and perfectly by using any kind of sharp items to make the eye area look hollow once again. It's okay to use those kind of sharp items. Just let's think that we are doing surgery right now. Because it's really necessary to make the eye areas neat and clean so that we can stick M seal later. So usually M seal box have two ingredients in them. We need to take equal proportions of them and mix them perfectly. Now we need to take right quantity of mixed M seal and clean the eye areas properly. We're not going to use any kind of glue to stick that M seal. We're just going to stick it directly. We need to take right quantity of it. It's very important because the eyes might look bulgy or too flat on the DDs. We need to make sure that we take the equal proportions for both of the eyes. Now we need to shape that M seal perfectly in a correct beautiful eye shape. Now it's all done. We need to let it dry for about 24 hours. So it has been 24 hours. Now it's time to paint his eyes completely white. We need to let it dry about 20 minutes. And now let's start painting the other parts of the face. Now we are going to paint the corners of his lips black to make him look like as if he is smiling. Now we 
are going to paint his eyebrows. It's okay even if the lines go wrong. We can just rub those errors with earbuds. Because it's not going to stay permanent until we apply varnish. Which we're going to do at the end of this video. Now as the white paint is completely dried, now we are going to paint iris with black color. Later we are going to give brown shade on that iris, but for now we are going to paint black. Now we're going to draw eyeliner. Both top and at the bottom of the eye. Now we are going to mix brown and white to bring up a lighter brown shade. Now we are going to mix more white to make it more lighter. Our aim is to make the iris look darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. We are going to mix more white to make it more lighter to apply it over here. Now we are going to paint his pupil.
we are going to give a very thin outline for the iris. We are done painting iris. So now we are going to give small white dots like light exposure on the eyes. Now we are painting slight pinkish at the corners of the eyes. To make the eyes look more realistic. We are going to paint on the inner sides of the ears. Actually, it's okay to leave the eyes like that without painting any eyeshadow. But personally, I want to paint an eyeshadow for him. Now I'm going to paint a slight darker pink at the corners of the eyes. I'm going to give a final touch up for his eyeliner. Now 
I'm going to give a light bluish and purplish hue for the eye shade. I'm painting dark pink inside the ears to make them look more deeper. Now let us paint the designs on his forehead. I'm going to paint white dots, but it's your wish to paint any kind of designs that would make him look more beautiful. Remember, the paint becomes permanent only when you apply varnish. So until then, feel free to erase any kind of errors with earbuds or tissue. I'm going to mix red and bright yellow for painting his tilak. I'm going to paint few green dots too. Now we're all done with forehead designs. Here I'm giving a slight bright yellow shade on the tilak once again. We are painting the other parts of the body.
here I am painting a cute little inner wear for him. I'm giving another coat to make it look more opaque. I'm going to give slight little red outline for his inner wear. painting small designs on his hands and feet. We are done painting him, well almost done. We need to let the paint dry for about 2 hours and later we are going to paint varnish to make the paint stay permanent. We need to give a slight thin and even coat on the areas where we have painted. I'm going to paint all over his face. And in the areas where we have painted. We need to make sure that we are giving a very thin and even coat. I'm giving a second coat. We need to make sure that the layers are really really thin because the more thin and even it is, the more shiny and beautiful he looks.
we need to let it dry for about 24 hours. This is how it looks after it have dried. And this is how he looks after he got dressed up. We are going to upload the tutorial on how we have stitched that frill frock in our next coming up video. Please do share this video so that this video may reach to more audience. This might help many of them out there. Hari Bol, Jai Shila Prabhupada, Hare Krishna.